sometimes because of our modern world it can be hard to want to be Jewish and want to stay Jewish. In the world today I think it is quite difficult to be Jewish because of the rise of anti-Semitism and anti-Zionism. We know that sometimes in certain places we have to feel a bit scared to be Jewish or to show it in certain parts of the world potentially. Politics, you kind of feel like everyone's against you. I just didn't really care, like, it didn't make a difference to my life and it was more of a... I tried to hide it and I didn't really want to tell anyone I was Jewish. A lot of people don't know much about the history and about the traditions. You have to be confident in yourself and be able to pose an argument when people try to disprove or deny your religion to some extent. I was Jewish. I had my bar mitzvah. Uh, we, uh, I had Shabbat dinner every week, but I didn't really see any meaning behind it. So after IST, it opened my eyes to like what it's really about, what being Jewish is really about. That's being part of a community and maintaining traditions that have been there for thousands of years. I wouldn't say that it's, it's difficult to be Jewish, especially not after going on the trip. You know, I have a much wider understanding of what's going on there and it's kind of, it's not just you know, spitting back out facts. There was almost a piece of me missing before I went on the trip and being so young, I didn't really understand that until I came back. And by being Jewish, it's a set of values that now you live by and whether you become ultra religious or just recognize that you're Jewish, you embody those values and appreciate it. And it's a way of guiding your life. To be part of a culture and to be part of Judaism, it's important. Like. Everyone, you, you just saw it, you're part of like a group and you guys help each other. If there's ever a time in need, everyone helps each other out and that's what counts, I reckon. That's absolutely what counts. For a lot of my friends at public school, the fact that they are Jewish, but they don't essentially recognize it because it hasn't been something that's been in their household. It's so incredibly sad because I know they could have gone on the trip and be a part of the Jewish community. But I never felt that connected to Judaism or Israel really. Um, so much so that I didn't want to go on the trip at all. I got to the airport the day we left and I was like crying. I was like, please don't let me do it. Please don't let me get on the plane. I really, really didn't want to do it. Um, and part of the reason was because I didn't know anyone and I was like, I have friends at home. I don't need new friends. And then that totally changed when I went to Israel and when I went to the Kotel for the first time in particular. We arrived on a Friday at like 3 a.m. and then we went to the Kotel that night for our first Shabbat and I'd never been to Israel before, in fact I'd never been overseas. And I went to the Kotel and I said to my madrachah, I was like, I've been here before and I had this really bizarre sense of de deja vu which I'd, I'd never even been to the Kotel or Israel and it was so weird and I, it was not like it was a new experience, it was just like I was coming back to something. I think if you'd asked me before, I probably would have been like, yeah, I'm Jewish and Israel exists, but now I really feel like I'm Jewish and I am a Jewish person and I'm so excited to be able to grow up and raise my kids as Jewish and let them have the same opportunities and same experiences that I had growing up. And I think that going to Israel showed me that and showed me the absolute beauty of being able to be Jewish and practice your Judaism. I'm still not particularly religious, but I'm excited to for my kids to grow up as Jews and for my kids to be able to be a part of that community and to be able to have the same experience that I got to have in Israel. From our parents, from the older generations, at a young age, if they don't try and instill those values and allow us to have these experiences like going on Israel trips, it's how, how you can't expect someone to recognize and embody and appreciate Judaism. It's a big part of who I am and I don't think that I'd be me without being Jewish. And whatever you may think it is, you have to be open-minded because it will really be what you make of it. <laughs>